as the new state. We are here today for the Snowy Islands. I actually didn't know that it's gonna be a paid DLC compared to other updates. It's still fine to me because I'm a big supporter of the mentality that no work should be not rewarded no matter how shit it is. <laughs> we are now on the pro but it seems like we still have our previous islands which thank god I feel like this is the actual first application I've seen so far that uses cloud saving. So we have two new islands that are already unlocked. And let's see. <laughs> I think this update is all about the disasters as well, which is quite new. Okay. I guess the buildings will be a little bit the same, but with like snowy particles. <laughs> okay, I first need to kind of do the template. If we are about to discover new features, I guess we should build around the mountain, right? Just to have some kind of occasion to encounter something. <laughs> I think I forgot how the controls work already, because I can't like turn them up. That's fine, whatever. I am not a designer by any means. So I'll just build some crap. And we'll go from there. There are classic clipboards as well, while you're gonna be unlocking the new levels. Uh, but that seems to be fine. Okay, yeah. Because the buildings are at least two by one. Yeah, that's the dimension. I think this is actually the first situation where I do an update on time. Like normally I will be the last person to do that. So all the housing is gonna be around the mountain to kill them all. <laughs> and then work outside because nothing's worse than having your job destroyed. Oh, is this new? The commercial zone also provides jobs. I don't think so. Oh wait, that's also different. The electricity goes through the streets. Oh, that's so much more better. Kinda too easy, because you can connect everything with that, but... What about the water? Is it the same? Oh, built on groundwater? Okay. And it's gonna be connected as well with pipes. Great! I mean, I didn't know about this change. Was it ever mentioned? But also the percentages are not that good, like... It has to be literally in the center. I only have two possibilities. I mean, I won't get 100%. I'm fine with 86. Yeah, so we we're kind of unlocking the same stuff. But what's like new in terms of... I guess we have like decorations, which... It's cool and all, but it's not necessarily my thing. I just want to provide for the people. That's it. <laughs> I think we're doing fine so far. It's just I need to control the demand and the buildings that unlock. It's gonna be kind of nifty to build everything around that mountain because a large area is not used. I also need to slowly think about style rating, which is from the other update and it's about the decorations. Wait, where's everyone? Did they die or something? <laughs> like, so weird. Okay, it's growing because my money is not. It seems like I run out from my budget. Uh, uh, is the game more difficult? <laughs> like, <laughs> That's so weird. I thought everything's going well. How's my city vulnerable to fire? It's winter, mate. Well, I need to wait for money because I have nothing, so... It's just a waiting game. <laughs> I'm not sure when are the disasters happening and it's already like 20 plus minutes. Maybe not that early in the development because then it's just gonna be hard to come back from it. Oh, God damn it! <laughs> but I think the gist of it is that avalanches happen from the environment and then it like destroys stuff and you have to build it anew. If not, then correct me if I'm wrong, but except for the visuals, I'm not sure if there's something to like, you know, 
Oh, that was not it. <laughs> that was just a building burned up. The DLC seems nice. It's literally what you get. A snowy environment with some new attractions and buildings on top of that. There are also some new stuff happening in terms of mechanics, which I was kind of surprised by it. All in all, pretty fun and looking forward to more. <laughs>